a very serious situation is unfolding at the border. A week ago, uh, I issued a statement saying that Canadians have a democratic right to engage in lawful protests. I urge those involved in the truck convoy protest to do so as safely as possible and not to create road hazards which could lead to accidents or unsafe conditions for other drivers. If participants in this convoy cross the line and break the law, I ex expect police to take appropriate action. Let me quote from a statement issued by the RCMP K Division earlier today. What may have begun as a peaceful assembly quickly turned into an unlawful blockade. While the Alberta RCMP has been in a position to conduct enforcement, we've been engaged with protesters at the Coots border crossing in an effort to find a peaceful and safe resolution for all involved. We thought we had a path to resolution. The protesters eventually chose not to comply. As of this morning, further action is being taken by the Alberta RCMP as this blockade continues to impede the ability for emergency agencies uh, to provide full services to area residents. It has also negatively impacted the flow of goods and services and impedes the public's freedom of movement. A highway is considered essential infrastructure. It is unlawful to willfully obstruct, interrupt, or interfere with the construction, maintenance, use, or operation of any essential infrastructure in a manner that renders the essential infrastructure dangerous, useless, inoperative, or ineffective, as per the Critical Infrastructure Defense Act of Alberta. Anyone who actively blocks a highway or aids, counsels, or directs a highway to be blocked may be subject to arrest and charge under the Act. Persons participating in this blockade can also expect enforcement of any contraventions of the Criminal Code, the Traffic Safety Act, uh, uh, and use of highway and rules of the road regulations at this location and area roadways. So we understand that uh, the RCMP began enforcement activity earlier today, uh, and um, they have done what they can over the past uh, four days uh, to seek uh, a, an agreed upon approach that would see an end to the roadblock. Unfortunately, uh, the approximately 100 remaining individuals participating in that process have apparently refused uh, to uh, negotiate in good faith with the RCMP about a, uh, an acceptable way forward. Uh, I have also received reports uh, in the last hour of people uh, allied with the protesters assaulting RCMP officers including in one instance trying to ram members of the RCMP, uh, later leading to a collision with a civilian uh, vehicle uh, in the area. This kind of conduct is totally unacceptable. Assaulting law enforcement officers who are simply doing their job to maintain public safety and the rule of law uh, is completely unacceptable. And without hesitation, I condemn uh, those actions and I call for calm amongst anybody who feels sympathetic uh, to those engaged in this blockade, please uh, stay away from the area. Uh, please do not uh, further intensify an, an already difficult situation. Uh, the police have a job to do. Uh, and I implore people, if you feel strongly about the issues involved, I invite you, encourage you, and welcome you to find peaceful and lawful ways uh, to make your point clear. In our situation here in Alberta, uh, I, I once again would plea uh, for calm and uh, ask folks who may whose tempers may be running high uh, to channel that frustration into peaceful and lawful protest uh, rather than uh, what we've been seeing today uh, in southern Alberta. Please understand we've only ever resorted to restrictions when the alternative was overwhelming our health care system and potentially having to pull life support from people in our intensive care wards, or cancelling even more surgeries and medical procedures, which would hurt even more people. Please, to folks who are so frustrated, I share, I, by God, I share the frustration. Please understand that um, we uh, have tried to uh, take a minimal approach to restrictions, but a necessary one to avoid even more damaging cancellations of surgeries uh, and uh, and, and, and loss of life.